ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम फर्स्ट कैंटो फिफ्थ चैप्टर टेक्स्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री अहम पुरातीत भवे भव मुने दास्यास्तु कस्याश्चन वेदवादिना निरूपितो बालक एव योगिना शुश्रूषणे प्रावृष निर्विवेक्षता Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami, Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai. <coughs> Translation. O Muni, in the last millennium, I was born as the son of a certain maid servant, engaged in the service of Brahmanas who were following the principles of Vedanta. When they were living together during the four months of the rainy season, I was engaged in their personal service. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. The wonder of an atmosphere surcharged with devotional service to the Lord is briefly described herein by Sri Narada Muni. He was the son of the most insignificant parentage. He was not properly educated. Still, because his complete energy was engaged in the service of the Lord, he became an immortal sage. Such is the powerful action of devotional service. The living entities are the marginal energy of the Lord and therefore they are meant for being properly utilized in the transcendental loving service of the Lord. When this is not done, one's situation is called Maya. Therefore, the illusion of Maya is at once dissipated as soon as one's full energy is converted in the service of the Lord instead of in sense enjoyment. From the personal example of Sri Narada Muni in his previous birth, it is clear that the service of the Lord begins with the service of the Lord's bona fide servants. The Lord says that the service of his servants is greater than his personal service. Service of the devotee is more valuable than the, best, than the service of the Lord. <clears throat> One should therefore choose a bona fide servant of the Lord constantly engaged in his service, accept such a servant as a spiritual master and engage himself in his, the spiritual master's service. Such a spiritual master is the transparent medium by which to visualize the Lord who is beyond the conception of the material senses. By service of the bona fide spiritual master, the Lord consents to reveal himself in proportion to the service rendered. Utilization of the human energy in the service of the Lord is the progressive path of salvation. The whole cosmic creation becomes at once identical with the Lord as soon as service in relation with the Lord is rendered under the guidance of a bona fide spiritual master. The expert spiritual master knows the art of utilizing everything to glorify the Lord and therefore under his guidance the whole world can be turned into the spiritual abode by the divine grace of the Lord's servant. The sense the Bhaktivinoda Parapat. <laughs> The following is the class on the Sramad Bhagavatam, 1st Kando 5th Chapter, Text Number 23. Given by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on 13th of August 1974 in Vrindavan, India. <laughs> Dashyasta Kashyasta Chanabhidu Vadinam Nirupita Balaka Eva Joginam Sushushane Pravisi Nid Vivikshatam So, this is the previous life history of Naradmani. Naradmani is explaining about his previous life to bash there. What was the previous life? The son of a maid servant. Maid servant means Sudrani, not born of a Brahmin family, low class maid servant. <clears throat> so, from this position, Narad Muni became the greatest Muni. Uh, he is 
describing his own life. This is the most important point. That in first of all, he was a boy, three, four or five years old boy, no knowledge. And second point is that he was not born in a very high grade family, aristocratic family, rich family, no. Men are men are. He did not give any information of his father also. Dasya. Dasya means uh, there is no certainty who is his father. Dashi. Dashi putra. Eh? Formerly uh, big, big man, especially Kshatriyas. Just like when Vasudeva was married with Devoki, so uh, with Devoki many hundreds maid servants are given with Vasudeva. That is the system, especially among the Kshatriyas. When a Kshatriya king is married, uh, then along with the queen, Many girlfriends of the queen, they are also taken away. This is also a nice solution of social problem. Yes. Because female population is always greater than the men. And uh, therefore, the royal order, they would accept all these girls as associates. And sometimes uh, they would be pregnant and there will be son. They are called dashi putra. They are not neglected. They are equally taken care of. But they were not heir to the throne. Only the married wife's son, just like Vidura. Vidura's birth was like that. Vidura uh, was not born of the queen, but made son. And Dhritarashtra, uh, he took him as his brother. There was no discrimination because one is born of the maid servant. No, equal treatment. Only the restriction was that he would not inherit the throne. That was the system. So here, of course, it appears Narad Muni was not of that kind of dashiputra, ordinary dashiputra, because they, such dashi or the maid servant, they do not come out for common service. They remain within the palace. So the point is, that Narad Muni in his previous life uh, was not very recognized family, neither Brahmin nor nothing of the sort. He still, he became next life the Narad Muni. What is the cause? What the cause is Nirupita Balakeva Jogina. I was appointed a boy servant of the devotees. The importance is that devotee is so important that if anyone renders a little service, then he becomes elevated to the spiritual life. What Balak? Balaka means there is a boy. You boy bringing this or do this, just wash my cloth or just set up my bed like that. This much servant or wash this dish. And so the devotional service is so powerful that doing this, this will be described later on. Simply by doing this little service to the yogina, 
you are so blessed that next life he became Narad. This point is very important point. That is being explained. Another point is that when one is situated Narad, after this life, he became situated in a spiritual life. The spiritual life, therefore, he was able to go anywhere. Uh, Narad is traveling all over the universe, not only within this material world, in the spiritual world. He goes to see Narayana in the spiritual world. Uh, this boy is sleeping. Go back side. Those who will sleep can go back side. <coughs> so, this is one point. That in spiritual life, one is free to move. There is no requisition of this aeroplane or and even in this material world, those who are very highly elevated, uh, that is called, they live there in the Siddha Loka. There is a, that is described in the second canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Siddha Loka. Of Siddha Loka, the inhabitants of the Siddha Loka, they don't require any plan. They can go because Siddha means the inhabitants in that planet, they are all perfect in Ashta Siddhi Yoga. By yogi perfection, one can uh, travel in the space. Just like Durbhasa Muni, he traveled in the space uh, when there was. Uh, chasing by the Sudarshan Chakra. He, by yogic power, he fled from one place to another one place. He even entered the spiritual uh, nature and saw Vishnu personally. Still he was condemned. Uh, the Sudarshan Chakra was after him chasing. He tried to insult Ambarish Maharaj, Vishnu. So you want to kill, not only insult, but you want to kill him. Uh, a demon was immediately produced by his hair. The yogis can do that. Uh, anima, uh, uh, anima, lagima, prapti, siddhi, whatever they like, immediately brought one demon. Uh, so, but Vaishnava, Maharaj Amburi, he was neither yogi nor he could display any yogic perfection. But he was protected by Krishna, by the Sudas and Chakra. This is Vaishnavas. Just Vaishnavas do not require to practice any yogi power to become materially powerful. He doesn't require. Simply he surrendered to Krishna, makes him all power. This is the position of Vaishnavas. Vaishnava, they do not care for all this yogic power. They depend on Krishna, uh, and who can be? Krishna is the yogeshara, all master. Jatra Krishna, Jatra Hari yogeshara. So if one takes shelter of the yogeshara, the master of all mystic power, why he should bother about this yogic power? A poor man, may try to earn money by hard labor, but one who is a very, very rich man's son, why should he be labor? Huh? The father's money is sufficient. Similarly, a devotee, a sincere devotee, he is under the protection of Krishna, and under the protection of Krishna means under the protection of all six kinds of opulences. Riches, eh? then strength, then reputation, wisdom, renunciation, beauty, 
the six kinds of opulence. Uh, Krishna under Janglabdha Chaparang Lavang Manati Nathakang Tata. This is stated. Because if you get some or other Krishna's favor, then there is no question of any more profit. Sufficient profit. We have got everything. Uh, simply be sincere to the service of Krishna, then you have got everything. Uh, there is no need of trying for this or that. Just means thite guru nāpi dukhena nā vichallati. If one is situated uh, under the shelter of Krishna's lotus feet, then guru nāpi dukhena nā vichallati. If there is dangerous type of uh, inconvenience, then he is not disturbed. He knows. Just like Ambedish Mahārāja, uh, Pallādhmā. There are many instances. Uh, his father, Hiranakasipu, is giving him trouble, chastising. He was oh, patient, not disturbed. So be sure that uh, if you are, if you have actually taken shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna, there is no question of danger. Kaunti apratijanihi nami bhakta pranasati. And Krishna confirms it. Kauntya, my dear John, you declare to the world that my devotee will be never vanquished by any enemy. That is Krishna's assurance. So why should we try to. Uh, of course, if Krishna's order is there, that is another thing. That's like Arjun. Uh, John was ordered by Krishna, you fight. When Krishna says you fight, you must fight. Not that Krishna says you fight, and you say, no, I have taken your center. Why shall I fight? No, that's not. That is disobedience. When Krishna says you fight, you must fight. But our life should be that whatever Krishna says, that is full surrender. All his representative says, that is my life. Vishnath Chakravarti has explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Babasatmika buddhi reki ha kurunandana. Bahushaka ananta. Buddhi abhyabhushayana. So our, we should be fixed up on the order of Krishna coming through the spiritual master. Then our life is successful. This is the secret of success in spiritual life. Just sab prasadad bhagavad prasad. This is a sure. Uh, we have to please the spiritual master. And if he is pleased, then Krishna is pleased. Uh, the argument that we do not see Krishna personally, how we can satisfy? You satisfy your spiritual master, then Krishna is pleased. Jasya prasadat, bhagavat prasad. Jasya prasadat, and if you want to please directly Krishna and show your spiritual master plantain, then nagati utopi, it will be all useless. Jasya prasadat, bhagavat prasad. Jasya aprasadat, nagati utopi. So this. Narad Muni's history is very interesting uh, that he was not educated, a boy, uh, not coming from cultured family, made son, made son. The only qualification was that Nirupita uh, Balaka, he was yogina. He was engaged as a boy servant to the yogis. So, how he got this opportunity? That is, susushane. Susushane means in service, uh, prabhisi during the rainy season. Because saintly persons, uh, mendicants, sannyasis, 
their business is to travel. Travel. When, of course, uh, something is established, then a sannyasi can rest. Paramahamsa uh, stays. Uh, when there are many disciples, vatas going on, then he can take rest. Otherwise, it is the business of the sannyasi to travel. So these yogis or the sannyasis, they are traveling uh, all over the world, all over the country, all over the province. The business is traveling. But during rainy season, because it is very difficult, uh, formerly there was no aeroplane, and might be, but they were not traveling, they were walking. So for this four months rainy season, they used to take shelter at a nice place in a pilgrimage and wait. Until the rainy season is finished, they would not go out. That is called Chaturmas. This is the meaning of Chaturmas. So the Narad Muni got this opportunity. Now if you can calculate, this is this is knowledge. Then he had the opportunity to start these yogis for four months only. Not more than that. And he became known. Just understand how much powerful is service to the Vaishnava, devotees. And that is also confirmed in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Kirata Hunanda Purinda Pukkasa Abhira Sumbha Javanaka Sadaya Jinnit Papa Jat Upasraya Sraya Suddhanti Jat Upasraya Sraya means if anyone takes the shelter of the devotee, upasraya a devotee takes the shelter of Krishna's lotus feet, and if somebody else takes the shelter of the lotus feet of the devotee, suddhanti becomes purified. This is our Krishna consciousness moment. And who becomes purified? Kirata Hunanda Purinda Pukkasa Abhira Sumbhaja. All the people who are less than the Sudras, they are called Panchamas, fifth grade. First grade Brahmana, second grade Kshatriya, third grade Vaishya, fourth grade Sudra, and all others, fifth grade. They are called Chandalas. The Chandalas, uh, the sweeper, the cobbler, and low grade. Still, in India, the, this fifth grade persons only, they eat uh, meat, uh, pigs, and sometimes cows, fifth grade. Now it has become a practice, and he's a first grade man. You just see, uh, what was the business of the fifth grade man? That has become the business of the so-called politicians. You see? So if you are ruled by the fifth great man, then how you can be happy? That is not possible. How there can be any social uh, tranquility? That is not possible. But even the fifth great man, he can be purified by Krishna consciousness. Therefore, there is great need of this Because at the present moment, there is no first-class man, no first-grade man, no second-grade man, maybe third-grade, fourth-grade, fifth-grade, sixth-grade, like that. But they can be purified. That is the only process is this Krishna consciousness movement. Anyone can be purified. Mangi Partha Vipasritya Jeepi Shu Papajuna. They are called Papajuni. Born in low grade sinful family. Uh, Papajuni. Krishna says, Jeepi Shu Papajuna. 
Never mind. What kind of Mang Hipata Bhav, if he takes shelter of me, then the shelter can be taken because Krishna's representative is canvassing. So there is no scarcity. Simply one has to take shelter. That's Just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission is to create this canvas. Go everywhere. Amaragai Guru Haya Tarai this. Go. He used to send Nityananda Prabhu, Haridas Thakur, and to canvas. Please chant Hare Krishna. Please chant Hare Krishna. Please surrender to Krishna. Also, there was a crowd on the street, Nityananda Prabhu and Haridas Thakur saw. And they asked, What is this crowd? No, there are two brothers, Jagai and Madai, very troublesome. They are drunkards, human hunters, and meat eaters, and they have created all this trouble. So Nitananda Guru immediately decided, why not deliver this person first? Then my Lord's name will be glorified. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's name will be glorified. This is the business of the disciples. Uh, how to glorify the spiritual master? Parampara. Uh, I glorify my spiritual master, you glorify your spiritual master. If we simply do that, glorify them, Krishna is glorified. And that was the decision of Nityananda Prabhu. Uh, that why not deliver these fallen souls first? Uh, because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's incarnation is to deliver the fallen souls. And, in, and there is no scarcity of fallen souls in this age. Potita pavana hetu tavo avata. Mosama potita pavur napaiva. Nathandas Thakur is placing himself at the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that. My, love, my dear Lord, your incarnation is to reclaim all these fallen souls. <clears throat> but I am the lowest of the fallen souls. So my claim is first. Kindly deliver. Mosama potita prabhu napaiya. Your determination is to deliver the fallen. So I am the first class fallen. Please accept. So, Kaliju, people are suffering. They are all fallen, all meat eaters, all drunkards, all fifth grade, sixth grade men. Uh, they are puffed up. But actually, they are fifth, sixth grade, tenth grade men, uh, not even gentlemen. Uh, therefore, my Guru Maharaj used to say that no gentleman can leave. The society is so polite. Uh, and but the, uh, there is opportunity of serving Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because the society is so fallen, therefore there is good opportunity to serve Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's incarnation is to reclaim these fallen souls. So he have got the opportunity to serve Sri Chaitanya, to please Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because he wanted the fallen souls to be delivered. Krishna also wanted. Jada jada hi grani bhavati bharat. Dharmasya grani bhavati bharat. Krishna comes. This is God's business is going on like that. He is very anxious to reclaim all these rascals who are rotting in this material world. Krishna is always anxious. He comes himself. He comes as devotee. He comes as senses, bona fide servant, bona fide son. So this is Krishna's concern to reclaim all this fallen soul. Therefore, these are the opportunity. The yogini, the yogina, they are traveling all over the world. Only during the rainy season, they are resting. Not that. Uh, in other season, eating, sleeping, no. 
because in the rainy season to travel there is inconvenience. Therefore, only four months. So during the four months, wherever they stay, simply be, being served by somebody as like a boy servant, they become delivered. There was no question of preaching, simply giving the opportunity to serve ah, the fallen soul become delivered. But you must be competent not to take service for nothing. Uh, then you'll go to hell. If you are actually in spiritual position, then by giving others little opportunity to serve you, you'll be delivered. No question of understanding the philosophy. The boat is must be so perfect. The system is therefore as soon as one sees a devotee falls down and takes the touches the feet. This is the system. Because by touching the feet, uh Father Rajobi say come. Ah, if one is actually elevated to the spiritual life. And he is takes the people takes the opportunity of touching his lotus feet, then he becomes devoted. This is the process. So here, how he began Narad Muni will be described. But here it is said one thing is that when you are liberated, huh? just like in the Bhagavad Gita, it is said that. Takta dehang punar janma noiti mami. You become an associate of Narayan, Krishna, Vishnu. Then you can remember your past lives. Remember your past life. Just like you can remember your dreams. I was dreaming like that. So this is all dream. How are these? life at the present moment, because this body is false. So whatever we are acting, uh, it is just like dream. Like like in dream at night we also work. So this is gross dream and that is subtle dream. Uh, but real life is spiritual life. Uh, but we foolish people, we are taking this life as Permanent life, permanent settlement. Uh, it is not permanent settlement. Here is Narada Muni saying, Ahang pura otito bhavi abhavam otito bhavi. This nature, just like everything material, bhutta bhutta praliyate, it appears for some time like bubbles in the ocean. We will second, again. The whole cosmic manifestation in which we are, millions and millions of years, it is just like a bubble in the ocean. It is just like a bubble. Bhutta Praliyat, it is said in Bhagavad Gita. So, Naradmani confirms that formerly in the millennium, that is Brahma's night. When Brahma's night comes, uh, the everything becomes devastated in water. Sasya Juga Pajantam Arhajat Brahmano Vidu. First of all, Sasya Juga. One Juga means forty three hundred thousands of years. Multiply it by one thousand. That is the period of manifestation. Now, what is the period? Forty three lakhs. Of years and multiply it by thousand. How many years? Four point three billions. Huh? Four point three billions of years, this thing will go on. And then again, for uh, this is Khandapralaya. Uh, Khandapralaya means when Brahma's day and night. Uh, but that is Mahapralaya. Uh, that will stay, you know, you do not know how many millions of years. But this is called millennium. So Narad Muni remembers this. 
therefore he says aham pura otito bhave this is called bhava 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 means to come into existence and again finish just like this bhava samsa it is called bhava samsa bhava samsa means uh, i have got this body and it will be finished again i shall get another body again it will be finished uh, so where is the science to understand these things uh, who can explain where is the scientist pura utito bhave is there any scientist is there so what is the knowledge very meager knowledge 2 plus 2 that's all <laughs> and they are very much proud who can explain this pura utito bhave they do not know pura do not know utito bhave and abhavam and i existed and i can remember is that perfection possible uh, but this is a fact uh, this is a fact you one may believe or not believe that making research in this situation uh, big b yesterday bone man was speaking you know what is this research research yet and narad muni says that in my previous life i was like this what is where is the research you are comparing this or comparing that real research is yet if actually one is research scholar now what does this bhagavad says pura utito bhave what is this god research that is that is real research so pura utito bhave abhavang mune mune is addressing the bas de mune so i was the son of a maid servant and i was engaged as the boy servant of uh, jogis and they were taking uh, rest for four months so i had the opportunity of serving the four months as that boy servant just to take whatever the left prasadam i used to take to wash their dishes or to wash their cloth in this that fear for danger exposure they do not care we are so poor that we are always on the brink of dangerous position if we don't utilize this life properly i may fall down again to this cycle of birth and death tatha de antara prapti i shall get another body there is no guarantee what kind of body i am going to get i do not know this foolish civilization is going save them by this krishna consciousness that is the best way for activity thank you very much